Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Doing Man Stuff. This morning, I'm going to do exactly what I promised in the last video. We have taken a bit of a new direction for this channel, and I want to start the effort of prepping for the future and for things that could go down, things that could happen. But specifically, making sure we have the supplies and tools and uh, all the things necessary to manage a situation like that. Uh, on our last video, I mentioned that the primary thing that we have to do is develop a plan of action. What are we going to do? Now, that can you can do that at nauseum. You could take that a thousand different directions, and you can take it way too far. But start really, really basic. What are the basic things that you need? And I suggest, from all the research that I've done, and from all the videos that I've watched, all the people that I've conferred with, you got to start in bite-sized pieces, especially if you don't have a huge budget, which I do not. I don't have a lot of money, and the money that I put into this uh, is going to be a little bit at a time. And I would venture to say the majority of people that start doing this uh, are probably in that category. If the affluent population in our country is not giant. So we all need to, to do something in this vein, but uh, we need to do it in a reasonable fashion. So that's the first thing. You don't have to spend a fortune on this stuff. You can do it a piece at a time and don't get frantic. Don't go and sell all your worldly goods and, uh, and just start buying up survival supplies and stockpiling things. Take it a piece at a time. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But you got to have a plan for doing that, otherwise you're going to just be all over the place and just uh, spending money in, in ways that just don't make any sense. So, let's start with one week of supplies. That's where we're going to start. That's the plan. We're going to start with one week, then we're going to move up to one month, and then we're going to move up to three months, then we're going to move up to, yeah, that's right, a year. Now. There's a lot of preppers out there that, are, that have five years worth even beyond that. I think that's amazing. And uh, quite frankly, there's something you should shoot for, but you gotta have a starting place. So the most likely scenarios, uh, I live in, in Texas, uh, the most likely scenarios are not uh, the type of, type of weather-based things that you see in the northern states. However, last year we had a snow and ice storm that put us out of food and water uh, in large part for about a week. Uh, it kept us in our houses because they really couldn't drive on the roads. We don't have infrastructure for that here in, uh, in South Texas. So it was very unusual, but we all learned that there was a lot of things we didn't have and uh, a lot of tools and supplies and things that uh, we wish that we had had for that. So all of that being said, we've got to, got to start somewhere and we're gonna start with a week. So what do you need in a week's time? Well, let's just say you've already got shelter. You've got your house, okay? So we're not gonna prepare for bugging out and uh, tromping across the country uh, to get to some safe place. We already got a safe place, we got our house. So don't worry about that. It starts much more simple than that. What we need is water. And I would say start with water, start with water. If you don't have enough water, you're gonna be in big trouble. And we all found that out when all of our water, water turned off during that ice storm. So you're going to start with water. <clears throat> you got water, you got food, and you need to have some way to cook the food or purify water if you don't happen to have enough. And that means you need fire. So those three things right there, I, I think, are by far the most important. You can get by to some degree without the rest of the stuff. Um, but... Just go down those categories. You got food, you got water, switch those two. Water, you got food, you got fire. Then add to that, add light. Because if it's dark and you don't have any power, you gotta be able to see. You know, fire does fill that role to some extent, but it might not be appropriate inside your house. So you need a way to have light. So those four categories right there, if you nail those down right there, you're really going to cover most of what you need for an emergency week. So that's what we're going to start with on this channel. We're going to start with that. Now, going beyond that, we've got other uh, things like, uh, like communication, security. That's where the high-velocity hole punches come in. You all know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but we're going to save those for another time. Mostly, we just want to have supplies to get us through a week's time. 
uh, if we have to stay in our house and we can't go anywhere, uh, or just there's some dangerous situations going on. Okay, so that's, that's our basic plan. Now, when we move up to a month, we're going to be thinking about other things. We've got to think about um, slightly more long-term storage of things, how, how to save space, where to put all that water. Um, that's a lot of water. <laughs> it's a lot of water, and we'll, and we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get started uh, on our prepping, but it's a lot of water, and uh, if you really are eating enough food, it is quite a lot of food. For a week, not so much, but for a month, now we're really getting into some uh, some storage issues, so we got to talk about that. Uh, when we get to three months, it's going to get even bigger, so you just basically triple what you had for a month, and then when we get to a year, um, we have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to talk about. So understand before we get started on this journey that I am, I'm an amateur at this. I'm basically starting this process myself right now. I've done a lot of research. I feel really confident in what I'm doing, but, uh, but understand I'm going to make some mistakes. I'm probably going to look silly in, uh, in a lot of these situations, a lot of these videos, um, surplus store videos and grocery store videos and things like that. Uh, maybe even learning how to how to do some canning and things like that. We'll we'll get to that, but uh, y'all give me some grace. Don't be too mean in the comments. I know it's probably going to happen anyway, but give me some grace. I'm getting started with this too, and uh, I, it's going to be a really fun process. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a great time with it. I hope you guys have a really great time with it. Uh, no matter what, look at your place. Don't freak out. Don't go overboard. Have a calm and cool and collected approach to making this stuff happen. So, you've got your house. What do you need inside that house to get you through a week? That's going to be our first step. I'm excited to take that step with you. Have an amazing day. Keep doing man stuff. I hail you happy in the Lord.